everyone, it is Brooke with The Junk Parlor. I am laughing because I feel like in every video entry that I do, I have, at least in my house, I have a vent behind me. This one, I intentionally left wide and did not paint navy because I think it kind of goes with the whole room. But the one in my living room, every time I videotape there, it reminds me like, oh yeah, you're wanting to paint that vent cover. So ignore that. But we are in the guest bedroom today. And the reason is, is because I got a new side table. So when I was first decorating this room and doing the makeover, which I will share that video, I basically was trying to use what I already had when it came to furniture pieces. And I, you know, you know how thrifting is like eventually you will find what you want when you're antiquing, thrifting, going to flea markets. And that's what happened to me a couple weeks ago is I found a table. It was $10. I'm like, this I think is going to work because I needed something very shallow so that when the closet doors opened, they weren't hitting it. And this is taller than the stool that I had there before. So it's working out perfectly and I'm gonna show you how I styled it and a couple other tweaks that I've made here in the bedroom. Hey, there's not a lot of sunshine coming in today, but I wanted to share with you something that I picked up thrifting. We are going to replace this little stool or test it out because I might put something new here and not even like it, so TBD. Okay, so I'm pretty sure I picked up this um, side table the same day that I did the Christmas, or Christmas, the same day that I did the kitchen decor video, because at the end of the video, I shared with you my haul that day, including a bunch of books like this that are leather bound like lawyer books. I forgot to share with you this table because I had already set it in here in the room. I haven't even seen if I'm going to like it um, because I need to step back and kind of look at the space as a whole. I really liked the coloring of the stool, but it was pretty low. And I don't know about you, but when you're laying in bed, it's nice to just um, reach over at the same height or same level. So because I got so many of these books, I wanted to incorporate them in this uh, vignette here on the side table and I like it because it kind of ties in other like black navy white mustard or gold I also have silver so mixed metals in here and all color tones of wood so light and dark so I think these leather bound books kind of tie all of the color schemes together Now, the edge of this table is a little bit fatter than once you get past that edge. So I kind of have these books pushed back a little bit. I also, this is probably, I'm guessing 12 inches deep. So really I have a ton of space. I could push these all the way back and do a little display in front of them. But I think for now, we're just going to leave it. I'm going to actually push them to the front so that they're basically hitting this wider edge board. I had this bowl with just some Kleenexes in it. I wanted to pop a white to tie in. You know, I like to have the color scattered around the room. And so I wanted some white on the stool when it was a side table. So now we're gonna put some white here. So I'm just dusting off this wooden box that I got. Sorry, the lighting is terrible. But again, it's a similar wood tones to the leather books, or not wood tones, but tones. Um, and I love this box. The top little inlay 
I just think is beautiful. Now, one of the things that I took off of my kitchen island was this brass swan. And I really like it. It won't fit in the built-ins in the living room. And so I decided to try it here. I had taken out the greenery that was in it when it was on the kitchen island. I think I'm going to put basically the same thing back in it. It's like a eucalyptus. And then I have some darker eucalyptus stems. And I'm just going to like swap out one of the greener ones that's more spring and summer and put one of the darker ones in that's more fall. It kind of goes with the eucalyptus on the other side of the room. And then I think I'm just going to leave this whole area blank so that people can set a book, a phone, their keys, a cup of water. I should get a coaster for in here. And then that way this is like gives them space to actually use it when I have guests. Only other change I've made in here since my guest bedroom reveal is this top, well actually the top two suitcases. I had one similar to this size and it's listed on the website. So this one I picked up at the Iowa State Fairground Flea Market and I did videotape shopping there. So if you want to watch that video, I'll link it here. But I love this Badlands South Dakota sticker. And I take that back. This one I got at Watch Here Flea Market, which I will link. This one I got at the Iowa State Fairground Flea Market. And I just love that it's a little bit smaller. And I think three on here versus two is good. And just look at the inside of that. It's beautiful. The inside of this one is actually beautiful too. It's green. The thing that I wanted to show you in here though, is I have never seen a sticker, I guess it is. It's kind of metal, I think, but basically saying that it's cowhide. I mean, have you seen something like that? Tell me in the comments below. So I did change this space up just a little bit. And I added an ugly white trash can. Just because I swapped out the trash can in my son's room, I actually used an ice cream bucket and this was in there. So I needed a place to put it and there was not a trash can in this room. So now there is. Well, what do you think? I like the new side table. I think probably the biggest reason I like it is just simply the height and it gives me a little bit more flexibility with decorating and having some more spaces to put my collections. Thanks so much for watching today's video. If you're not already a subscriber, of course, I would love for you to become one. If you like how I decorate, then please be sure to check out my playlist all about my house. Until next time.